morning friends bobby here today um shot an earlier video uh in case you didn't see it what i want to explain in this one is uh, we're doing a roof here um and this roof has a little gable here that uh, sticks out on the front and we're doing it in a three tab shingle so what we did we actually on the left side of the house is where we started uh marking off to run our shingles left to right now anytime you have a roof coming off <coughs> of, uh, of a roof you've got to get around it but you want to keep your bond running correctly because we've got to shingle all this area over here so what you need to do uh, let's see here is when you get <coughs> to the point to where you pass the peak you need to run one shingle all the way across to the end of the house okay and that shingle is nailed just on the top edge so that you can later come underneath here and you can lift these up and slide your shingle underneath it and then nail it on the tar line afterwards so purpose of this is just go ahead and run run that course of shingles all the way across here now you only have to run the one shingle uh, but I went ahead yesterday just to finish up my day. I went ahead and shingled the rest of the way up to the top of the roof. Now let's come over here and I'll show you what your next step is. Um, what we've done is we went ahead and measured from that last shingle to the end of the house. We added an inch and a quarter and then we cut a shingle to fit that. Okay, And then the next shingle above that is your stepped back shingle and we cut a shingle to fit that also we made a template of each one of those shingles then we went down the ground and we cut 20 of each one so we got 40 shingles they're laying up at the top each one of them's already custom cut now from this measurement to the end of the house we took a measurement we went up to the top and we measured off and made us a mark went all the way down to the bottom with the same measurement and uh, made us a mark and we chalked two lines going vertical up the roof now from this point to where you keep your bond running correctly i just took a sharpie and uh, where this shingle ends right here the one that's going to go underneath it is going to end right here so i made a circle then i made a circle here on the next five inch mark circle 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 all the way down and uh, that represents to where the end of that shingle is going to start until we get all the way to the end so when we lay our first shingle down here we know exactly uh, which step that we're at so when we run up the hill it's going to end up correct and then after we get that we can go ahead and shingle all of this area over here to the valley and finish filling in we're going to go ahead and run shingles on our little roof that comes out and finish filling in all this and folks that's how you do a three tab shingle uh correctly to where you don't mess up your bond and <clears throat> have any spots where you end up having to uh, cut it and make it look funky but anyway hope this video helped a little bit and have a great day